Dear President Weber, esteemed Presidents, Prime Ministers, Party Leaders, Honoured Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is with great honour and deep respect that I stand before you today at the EPP Congress in this historical city of Bucharest. In an era marked by unparalleled challenges, from the passing threats of climate change to the complexities of migration and the resurgence of global security, concerns unity emerges as our strongest shield. The manner in which we confront these societal challenges will define the future of our continent and the legacy we leave for the generations to follow. Vamaro Dapomane is deeply rooted in the conviction that unity and shared values are our most significant assets. In this sense, our commitment to democracy, human rights and the rule of law is unwavering. In a year poised for historical elections across Europe and within my own nation, Vamaro Dapomane pledged to encourage economic growth and stability. We aim to champion policies that stimulate innovation, strengthen small and medium-sized enterprises, and create opportunities for the Macedonian youth. We believe a dynamic economy is the foundation of flourishing society. Our commitment extends beyond economic measures. We are devoted to enriching the societal fabric of our nation. We envision a society that fosters inclusivity, where every individual is valued and has the opportunity to shape our shared destiny. This vision entails bridging disparities, guaranteeing equitable access to quality education and healthcare, and championing justice and good governance. A pivotal component of our vision for Europe is a renewed commitment to the Western Balkans. This region, stopped in a cultural richness, is essential for the continent's security, stability and prosperity. Greater EU engagement in the Western Balkans goes beyond simple expansion. It's about ensuring peace, stimulating economic development and bolstering democratic institutions. I am personally convinced that the European Union must intensify its efforts to integrate these nations, providing a clear merit-based path to EU membership. I must also address the unfair constraints my nation has encountered on its path to the European Union. The dynamic between Bulgaria and Macedonia have introduced unwarranted hurdles that have negatively impacted our journey towards EU accession. While we are committed to resolving these issues through our dialogue and mutual respect, it is imperative to acknowledge that this process requires reciprocity. As fellow European nations, it is vital that we engage with each other justly, recognizing that our shared future in the EU is mutually beneficial and interconnected. The European Union represents a beacon of hope for many. It is our shared duty to ensure that this beacon shines equally upon all aspiring members, guiding and supporting them throughout the sometimes difficult reforms necessary for integration. This Congress should remind us of our collective responsibility to nurture Europe that is inclusive, just and celebrates diversity. A Europe that extends a warm welcome to all nations prepared to join the family, grounded in the principles of democracy, respect and the rule of law. In closing, I express my profound gratitude to our hosts and to each of you for your unwavering commitment to our common cause. 
The road ahead might present challenges, but with unity, determination, and shared vision, there is no obstacle we cannot overcome. Thank you very much, and enjoy in Bucharest.